right, guys, before we wrap this episode up, we got to mention very important passing a football icon, an absolute football icon and former Aztec, the legendary John Madden. John Madden was the voice. He was the face of football for a long time. I'm not the same crazy coach who used to storm around the sidelines yelling at the officials. I've learned to relax, and I drink light beer from Miller. Do you know that light's got a third less calories than a regular beer? And listen to this. Light doesn't fill me up. Besides that, light tastes fantastic. Oh, sure, there are a lot of other beers around, and you can drink any one you want. But let me tell you this. For light my beer from Miller. I Everything you always wanted know. in a beer. Nobody what a legacy that John Madden left in the NFL, in college, here at San Diego State. Well, first of all, to add another name to that coaching staff was also Joe Gibbs, too, right? Absolutely. Obviously, the video game. I was a big gamer, and I was a football junkie. So every year, I was buying that Madden football, whatever year it was. <laughs> and that was like the late summer you, that game would come out. So you still had like a couple weeks before school started. And I'd be playing that game like 24 hours straight, man. I would go like days without sleeping playing that stupid <laughs> game. Tackle. Good. Give me that. Give me the wave. No, no. Yes, we'll take that. That. The dive. Party time. Let's do that. And that. Not that. That. And that. Give me that again. Timeout. If it's in the game, it's in the game. John Madden Football 93 for Super NES and Sega Genesis. Where'd that truck come from? Hey. And then uh, the eulogy he did for Don Coriel yeah. back when uh, Don Coriel passed away. And I, I watched that again today. And man, if, if you haven't seen that, go back and watch it. I'm John Madden. <laughs> Condolences to the family. You know, I'm sitting down here in front and uh, I'm on the corner and next to me is Joe Gibbs. Next to him is Dan Fouts. And the three of us were in the Hall of Fame because of Don Coryell. There's something missing. It's it's really it's really cool to to see how the 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 reverence he had for Don Coryell and the appreciation he had for Don Coryell and what Coryell did for him and uh, the pride he had in kind of being a part of the Aztec program. So it's really it's it's really an underrated. He's kind of like an underrated part of of this san diego state history i take great pride in, in the fact that he was a member of those humble beginnings here at state <laughs>